Hi everyone, it's Anna here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am showing you my setup for June 2019. And if you've seen any of my past videos recently, um, you will know that this is not the same bullet journal that I've been using for the last several months, since the beginning of the year actually. This is a moleskin A5 soft cover and it's actually the expanded version so it has 400 pages in it and I decided that the B5 scribbles that matter that I was using the only complaint I had was just the size it was very similar to when I used the B4 Leuch term so if you haven't seen that video I'll actually link it in the cards so you can see it because my feedback on the Scribbles That Matter, B5 was actually very similar to the Leuch term as far as like pros and cons and everything. Obviously the paper is different and everything, but as far as like the sizes, it's pretty similar. But anyway, I really wanted to go back to an A5 size, which is why I got this off of Amazon, and I was really excited because it does have 400 pages in it, so it should last me a lot longer than, you know, maybe one of the Dingbats notebooks which is what I used before the Scribbles That Matter. And before I open this up, I actually wrote on the bottom the year, and here it is, almost end of May, and I write the wrong year. So I wrote 2018 on accident, but that's okay. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna open this up finally. My theme for this month, I couldn't decide what I wanted to do, so I went to my husband for help, and I asked him, like, what's your favorite summer treat or favorite thing to eat in the summer and he said that his favorite thing in the summer is Baja Blast Freezes from Taco Bell and I would say that that's definitely one of my favorites but I've also really loved pineapple it's one of my favorite fruits and I've actually bought a couple in the last month or so and I've cut them up fresh and it's just so good so I decided to combine the two and make them into my theme and I think Baja Blast is especially, or Baja Blast freezes are especially fitting because when my husband and I lived in Idaho, we didn't have AC and so it would get really, really hot and we would need to get out of our apartment. So we'd go to happy hour at Taco Bell. I don't know how many times we went so much and we'd get a little Baja Blast freeze for a dollar each and it was a nice little break from being stuck in our hot apartment. So. Anyway, so this is the splash page, or whatever you want to call it, and I thought it turned out really well, and I'm really proud of myself for freehanding all of this. The next is my month at a glance, and I did a similar layout to this, I think in April, with the mini calendar, and then um, I have a color code down here, so if something's happening, I'll fill in a box, or I'll, if there's... I'm going out of town in a couple weeks, so I'll probably just like do a stripe at the bottom of whatever days that I'm gone. Over here I'll write down what events are actually taking place, and then for my online lessons I'll write them down here for all the lessons that I'm teaching. And then I didn't know what to put down here, so I just did stripes of color, and I think it's really pretty. Also, side note, I'm really proud of my color scheme for this month, because normally I have to have like every color of the rainbow and it just like the shades just change from month to month but this time I just stuck with this blue two shades of green and two shades of yellow so this is my habit tracker which is at an all-time low of one two three four five six seven eight nine habits and this month I really wanted to just simplify things because I feel like the last couple of months have just not been very productive I don't know why I've been kind of in a funk I feel like the size a bullet journal really did make the, all the difference for me because it's easy to look at a giant page full of dailies and to feel kind of overwhelmed but now I can just see one day at a time and it's a lot simpler and straightforward for me so I really just wanted to simplify overall so I have my habits here my media tracker here and then my mood tracker which is just going to be like a, a graph and yes, I do already have things written down because I included the last week of May in this bullet journal. And so rather than going back and forth between my old bullet journal and this one, I decided to just include all that here. 
So and then more doodles on the side. And then here I have my husband appreciation page, which is a staple, as well as my gratitude page, which is also a staple. And as you can see, I've written down um, my gratitude for the last week of May. And then here I have my YouTube and Instagram pages. And I think I'm going to use this just to keep track of what videos I posted some stats and then um, to plan ahead some post ideas for Instagram. And then on this page, I don't know if I've done this before, but I just have a place to write down my current favorites, just anything that comes to mind throughout the month, just because it's kind of fun to look back on that. And then after this are my first two daily. At the top here, I have a space to write down my priorities, so write two or three things that need to get done on that day or my focus for the day. And then right here, um, I have just a timeline from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. And I can use this space to write down what I want to get done throughout the day and kind of like block out my schedule. So I have done that the last couple of days and that's helped a lot with my productivity. So that is it for this setup. I hope you all enjoyed it. Oh, and I do have washi on the side. Um, just to help keep track of the weeks and stuff and what month we're in. So I thought that was a fun little detail. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this setup. I know I definitely needed a change up and I hope this gave you all some ideas in case you need a change up as well. But anyway, I'm really excited about using this bullet journal. I know that the page quality, I actually haven't experienced much smudging or anything yet, but as you can see, there's definitely a lot of ghosting, but that honestly doesn't bother me at all. And I haven't experienced any bleed through either. So I'm really excited to use this bullet journal to have a fresh start and to hopefully be much more productive in the future. So anyway, I'm going to stop talking now. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.